Hello there, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to you and welcome to Let's Build. Hello, welcome to the final part of Jolene's Park Up. We're going to be getting on with the interior today because we did all the exterior the last couple of episodes. So it might be a bit of a shorter part today, might not be. Um, same as yesterday, it's just a smaller build. So smaller build equals smaller parts. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. Excuse fluffy head, but I know I keep apologizing for my hair and I shouldn't because I don't care. <laughs> but I just feel the need to. And I've had people say, is your hair purple? No, it's I've got like a smart light above me that puts a pink shadow on things. Um, why am I telling you this? No idea. Absolutely no idea at all. <sighs> we're going to be here tomorrow. We're going to be back at Strangerville tomorrow, but we're going to be doing a little let's play. We're going to be playing around with everyone from Crookdown Theatre, obviously Jolene, and everyone from the circus as well, just to get these character stories rolling. I'm going to record a couple of hours gameplay, make them do some funny things. I've got a few events that we need to be doing. Um, I think Yvette is going to have a birthday to age it up to like a young adult. So that's going to come tomorrow. And then we'll continue, we'll do a couple more Let's Play parts as the world progresses because we're kind of, we've got three more lots to do in the main area, like the town area of Strangerville. And then we've got to go up into the kind of mountain tops where we're going to be doing lots of Queen uh, Mary builds. Queen Mary or is it Queen Anne? Queen Anne. <laughs> Queen Anne builds. But also I want to do something a little bit different up there as well with one of the builds. Maybe a build that will stick out like a sore thumb compared to the rest of them, which will house a very interesting group of individuals that I'm going to get you guys to collectively make for uh, the series again. But yes, um, enough waffling. Let's get into game and let's start furnishing Jolene's sexy camper. Here we are back at Jolene's park up. Jolene is out here rocking on her rocking chair in the early morning sun, reminiscing about a cake and some balloons. I'm going to say a birthday. <laughs> I think I might be Sherlock. I could be. I could be. So, um, yeah, this is all came together rather nicely. I still haven't found this bloody parasol. I might just keep it as it is now. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to find the parasol. Um, thank you for all your ideas last time, guys. You guys are amazing. I always love reading your comments. I really do. So today we're going to crack on with the interior. We're going to get the interiors done. Um, I want this place to kind of look very homely. I don't want it to be messy. She's definitely not a dirty sim. I would imagine she's quite clean. She looks after her stuff. She did put a pile of clothes there, but we can't put that against her just yet because we do not have a wash basket or a linen basket. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Let's crack on. Right. Okay. So the main entrance is like coming here, which does take up quite a lot of space. So I might move this wall to like there, actually, just so it separates off the living area uh, where the kitchen's going to be as well. I might do like a little bar moment there. Hmm, that could be quite cool. And the bathroom. We're going to put the box of the bathroom in now as well. First off, let's get some lighting in here so we can see what we're doing. Um, I'm just going to use the small source of light so we can actually see what we are doing, what is going on. And yes, that's about it. That is about it. How are you all doing today? How are all you uni students doing today as well? I've had a few uni students kind of leave comments and I know a lot of you are kind of locked down at the minute in the UK. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you, this is your first experience of like going to uni and this shit is kind of hanging over it all and making it not a, not a, the best experience. You could you might be able to find an enjoyable experience out of it with your uh, flatmates or your residence mates, wherever you're staying. But I I feel for you. I really do. So I'm sending all my good wishes to you, uni students especially, but to everyone in general. You know, I think you've got to in this day and age. Yeah, I, I really hope you're all right. Just thought I'd say that. Just thought I'd say that. Okay, so do we do like a little moment like this in here. I'm not going to sing. Uh, I kind of want it to be panelled in here, but I don't necessarily... I mean, it doesn't have to look like that, but I kind of like the story of it looking a little bit ropey. 
you know, a little bit old. But I think the brown's the wrong way to go. Maybe the cream instead. Oh, that could be the vibe. That one for there. And then maybe, is that like a pink? Oh, the pink. No, we'll keep it more neutral. And then in the bedroom, I'm just going to do a white with the paneling. We're not going to use this bed, by the way. I was just using that to kind of get spatial awareness down. Now, I can imagine carpet and linoleum being a thing in here. But not again, not necessarily the carpet that looks a bit haggard. We could go a little bit more like this with it, but maybe like in a pop of colour and not a good colour. Oh, yeah, maybe a bit of green. Because deserts do get cold at night, like they do get cold at night. So carpet would probably help with insulation and stuff. Just thinking realistically here, my darlings. Just thinking realistically. Um, Do I want to go all the way to there with that? Oh, yeah, because I'm going to put a bar here. Bar. Or oh, do I want to put the bar there? I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out. Okay, and linoleum. I still can't believe there's a whole section for lin linoleum in The Sims. And we've got, what, eight options? I think the last one was the bowling pack that we got. <sighs> Why do we need it? Why do we need it? That is the question. Now, I did want to use... That kind of dirt, but it's not going with the brown. I'm not trying to make things go... Oh, that goes. I'm not trying to make things go too much in here. I just want them to balance each other nicely, you know? I never... When I'm doing something that's not my aesthetic or... I'm not trying to make everything kind of matchy-matchy. Not that I do anyway. But even more so when I'm doing something like this, I'd always try and make it kind of... I don't know. Reflect on each other, shall we say. Balance each other out quite nicely. Yes. Okay. And we use the same kind of... Oh, I'm going to change this wall pattern out. I was using this to kind of like frame in this window colour, but I think we will take it down to a darker one. Yeah, we will. And I'll do the same toilet door. Oh, that's got bloody things on it. Oh, is there no plain one? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, there is. So is that plain on the other side as well? Stunning. Stunning it is. Okay, and then I'm going to put the door here. Is this the right colour? It's not. Ignore the ceiling as well. We're going to get rid of that. Um, oh, there we go. That's a much better colour. That one there's a little bit too chocolatey. It needs to be a bit more flatter and darker. Perfect. Perfection. So, kitchen vibes. Are we going to be able to fit everything in here? I reckon we probably will struggle, but we're going to give it a bloody good try, my sweets. We really are. Right, so kitchen vibes. We haven't got, again, lots of kitchen counters to choose from because... The Sims team, for some reason, do not like making kitchen counters. Uh, I really wish they would make some more, though, because I'm so bored of the kitchens. Anybody else out there? Who's bored of the kitchens out there? Put your hands up in the comments. No, I don't want to go for this vibe. It needs to be this vibe, but this is going to be too... Ah, oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, and it looks old. I mean, we've used this to death recently, but I'm just going to keep going with it. Oven. Sink. Somewhere to cook. So it is quite a small size. But I think we're going to be all right. And then the same with the counters. I was going to do like one here and then one there. And then that she's got somewhere to eat at breakfast as well. And there's enough space to be able to get into the kitchen area. Yes, I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, Oven-wise... Uh, again, I don't want it to be too bougie, but I think that kind of vibe would fit in here quite nicely. Maybe we'll take it up to a white or a green. Why don't we pop a bit of green in here? Oh, yeah, because it kind of reflects on the carpet. Okay. I mean, it's not great looking <laughs> by any means, but oh, I kind of prefer the white, I think. And what's the darker color? Is that orangey? I mean, that's good as well. Yeah, we'll stick with that one. That kind of fits the vibe a bit better. And we'll go for the same colour fridge as well. I don't think it comes in the same colour, weirdly. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go for this one. In fact, we'll go for a white fridge. We're going to go for a white fridge. There we go. Stunning. Yes. White fridge there. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And the same with... Um... Oh, this is going to cut into the window, isn't it? Please don't. I would prefer if you didn't. 
but I think you're going to because you're an asshole. Um, it's not too bad. I can I can see past that. I can kind of see past that. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, and then I'll go all the way down with this and put an end piece. I always think that the uh, that's the end piece, but it's not. It's this. Just there. That's a bit high, but Jean Claude. Oh God, who's Jean Claude? More people are coming into the mix now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then again, just a little small one, just above here as well. Oh, that's giving me a story. It really is. I'm gonna put the sink here. Yes, the sink is right next to the oven. Oven. Um, but we are not gonna let that come between us. Yeah, a little sink moment there. Stunning. Oh, my DPI's gone down. I quite like it a bit slower, actually. Let's keep it that way. Okay, and then a bar stool. Or two bar stools. But um, I kind of want it to look a little bit, yeah, like this vibe, maybe. Because I don't, well, I don't know. These might work in here as well. If oh, I don't think we're going to get a match in turn with this. So they might have to be in white. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Uh, they're a bit dramatic. Okay, so I've gone for these ones and this swatch from Dine Out. I just think they look nice. I think they look nice with the colours and stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to go for it. Really am. Going to go for it. Now, I think up here, she needs like a events thing up on the wall. Like she's a conspiracy theorist. She's always like plotting and planning and stuff. So I reckon getting that base game um where are you base game kind of like cork board like this would suit really well we'll size it down though just so it, fit. oh, it fits in there an absolute dream look at that look at that it's that kind of like missing people like you know all going on in this world and i think above it a nice clock or a clock of some descript just above it not base game let's see what else we got going on um, again with clocks, we need some more clocks. I'm all for a clock, me. I do like a clock. <laughs> oh, this fits the vibe even more, but this isn't going to fit here. Nor would it. Oh, it will fit over there, though. Oh, we'll do that. But let's um, try and get a... Oh, there we go. Yes, a Strangerville vibe coming out from it. And this is the Strangerville object, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, grrr. Now, my thoughts were, I was going to be putting the, like, spying station in the bedroom, but I think it would be okay out in the living room because we've got so much room here that I think it would be okay. Now, we haven't put the details and stuff in the kitchen yet. I just want to get the bare bones of everything in first, and then we'll go around and start detailing and everything. So, first off, I need to filter everything to Strangerville because I just want to see all of the objects in a wanna right here. Oh, this is it, look. Listening device. Listening device with chair. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> what is the point in that? Let me see how... Ah, oh, it's not that big. It's two, like, three tiles. So that would do really well in this corner. Hopefully we can, like, change this colour. Oh, we can. It's a bit darker. Oh, I prefer that one. And the same with the chair as well. We'll go darker with the chair. Oh, Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to keep that there. Oh, let's not have you cutting in, please. Thank you. So that's a little moment there. I think, like, here would do really well with, like, a filing cabinet. Again, where she keeps all of her notes and, you know. You know where we're going with it, darlings. So we need to go to get to work. And maybe I can... Oh, I can find it straight away. Look. Oh, and we'll do the green as well. Yeah, we'll use the green. That very... Um, I'm going to move this door across. Very industrial colour for these kind of like pieces of furniture. I always remember my school having that colour. Um, like filing cabinet cabinets. I can't speak today. I really can't. Yes. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Really is. Now let me have a little whiffle through um, the Strangerville stuff and see if I can just pull out a few more objects that will kind of reflect on her character nicely. So I've pulled out a few little objects here and there. I'm going to try and put a TV on this. I don't know how we're going to try that. 
I just, I don't know. I reckon she maybe found this old car front. She uses it as this like ornament in her house. I, d I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I'm going to go with it. And I also put out a ju jukebox. I kind of sized it down though because it was just a little bit too big. I think she would like a bit of music. A few more cluttery objects of all of her findings. A conspiracy theorist. A lovely little alien moment we've got going on there. And this kind of like poster that I don't know could be alien elements or some sources she's found or something. I've no idea, but we're going to go with it. And I think up here, adding in that object from parenthood, the one that looks like it could have more kind of letters and stuff like that um, in them. <laughs> there we go. I found it. And I think storyline purposes, the kids from Crookdown Theatre have painted this for her as well. I'm going to make her really close to all of the kids in um, Crookdown. I think they find her fascinating. They really like her. They believe all of her stories and stuff as well. So I'm going to go along the storylines for that. I'm going to make them very close. She babysits a lot, I reckon. Um, she just loves kids. Absolutely loves kids. Really does. Okay, right. We're going to try and do this TV thing. I'm unsure if this is going to work, but I have an idea. Hopefully. Right, let's not get one that's going to stick to the wall. Oh, if I size that down, that that bloody light um, stays there. You know, like the blue light on the front there? It kind of stays there when you size them down. Um, Maybe I could put a TV on top of it. Ooh, that could be quite cool. Let's try this. I want... I want the... um. The old, this one, this one, in, yes, in brown. Hopefully, if I can get that in a good position. Let me just see this. Oh God, that's not in a good position. <laughs> Whatsoever. <gasps> what about if I put shelving up there? Just to make it look like shelves are on top of it. Let me get some shelves out as well. Um, Surfaces, shelves. Just so it looks like there's something holding the tv up there <clears throat> maybe something with a bit more of a frame on it oh that's going to go on the window or below oh this could work oh yes this will work yeah in that color as well let me see this All right can i can i lift you up without having to use the tool mod probably not but we're going to try anyway oh no it's on there <laughs> i kind of like it <laughs> i do i kind of like it I don't think we're going to have any kind of matching. Oh, that wood's a bit better. Yes. This could be a heater. We'll pretend this is a heater. <gasps> oh, I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm for that. I'm for that. Right. Um, What weird things have we got in here? I've already used this alien. Is there any other alien things that I can use? Let me have a little whiffle through and see if I can find something. Right. I haven't managed to find quite that much stuff but there are a few little like nods towards the alien sort of like vibe that i'm gonna just pull out and i found them in strangerville and in get to work as well um that's more of a rocket but we're gonna use that as well and i've also i'll show you what we've pulled out where you can see it right there it's that top secret monitor display so i reckon this is all of her goings on from where she's spying out here i think what i'm gonna do is just pull this out slightly like to like there so it's not kind of smushed into the corner um i wanted to size this down but when you size this down the kind of display stays the same so i couldn't i really couldn't but i do think that this here will kind of match him with her vibe rather nicely i do and i've also put up some curtains put up some curtains and i moved the other posters around including the clock which i put up there as well which is lovely Oh, yes, I'm feeling that. Right. Okay. We need a love seat now. I'm going to do a little love seat. Let's get rid of Get to Work in Strangerville and find a love seat. Don't sing. <clears throat> um, Is it this one? No, that looks like a waiting room. We don't want that. I want like an older version of... I want a, like a love seat version of this. Why haven't we got this? I would love a love seat version of that. I really would. I mean, I could use one of these. It is pretty cute. And it might fit in with the vibe okay. Um, That's not too bad. But I want it to look older. I want it to look older than that. 
This one isn't too bad either. Mm, it's the colour. Oh, that's not too bad. No. No, let me find a good chair. <laughs> I think we're going to try and squeeze this in. I don't know how we're going to squeeze this in, but I'm going to give it a good old try. Um, I want her to be able to get through. If I, oh, I've also put a UFO light up as well. I forgot to add that. I want it quite closer to the... Um, the TV. Like, I don't want it to be up against the wall here. Um, because I do want to put a cabinet here. And also, if I put it up against the wall, it kind of blocks off this chair. Plus this bar stool and stuff. Which, um, I'm not really... Oh, unless... Oh, do you know what? Actually, screw that. What we're going to do... I'm going to whiffle all of this around nicely. Like so. And I'm going to pull this a little bit closer instead. And then what I can do is plonk that over into the corner there. Along with these. Oh, I'll put them down there actually. Don't be cutting into anything. Thank you. I use this rug as well. This like, just so she looks like she's rifling through all of her stuff. Trying to get ideas and whatnot. I like that idea. Yeah. No, I don't mind this here now. Don't mind that being there. At all, which has given us enough room to be able to put a coffee table in here too, which is stunning, absolutely stunning. Wish we could have a smaller version of this. Please give us some smaller coffee, nice coffee tables. Um, oh, can I go for this? I wanted something to look kind of like alien, alien esque. Like she got given it as, as a gift from her other planetary friends. Um, that looks like it's been, like, crafted in a garage or something. I think I'm going to go for this. I don't think this colour, though, but I think I'm going to go for this coffee table. <laughs> Am I? Am I going to do that? No, I ended up going for this mid-century-esque one. Because the Strangerville just gives me, like, mid-century vibes. Um, I think this one kind of suits in quite well, actually. Now, yeah, no, that should be fine. That should be fine indeed. Right. Now I'm hoping that we can get an alien looking... Nope, not base game. Alien looking plant. If I do Stranger will get to work. But, oh, for God's sake, I just got rid of it. Um. Oh, there's one there. But also do debug. So if I come out of here and go into content and go to debug. Oh, look. Oh, there we go. Absolutely stunning. I don't think anybody would be able to notice. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I kind of wanted... A, oh, it's a tendril. Maybe I can just do a tendril, but size it right down. And pop you up on the shelf, maybe? Will you go up there, darling? Oh, it does. I think this moves as well, if I'm thinking rightly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll use that. We'll use that. Oh, what's this? Redacted tendril. <gasps> oh, does this move as well? But well, we're going to have one of you. But I'm going to size you down to about there. Is that shadow? Nope, that's fine. Lots of weird little weird things in our house, I would imagine. Okay, I want more of this kind of thing. Clutter. Oh, it does go up on the table. Okay. More of that. And I think going into live edit as well. And bringing out a few or a package. Let's do a little package on the table as well. Um, I wanted a TV remote. Can I like just put that in? Remote. Oh, remote. There we go. Oh, it's in electronics. Well, that's good to know. Put a little remote there as well. Not that that TV <laughs> would have a remote. It really wouldn't. So maybe that's a bit stupid. Oh, that can be for that can be the remote for the um, monitor up here. I just really wanted to add that in. <laughs> Um, what's this? Satellite? Oh, Christ. Yeah, maybe some, like, alien kind of, like, remotes and stuff. Have we got that freeze ray gun or whatever it's called? <gasps> A gardener bot? What? This gardener bot helps keep any garden in peak health. I didn't even know that this was the thing. Party bot. Well, we're having a gardener bot as well. We're going to have a little gardener bot. Not underneath there. You can live. Where's the awning? Oh, it's there. Oh, damn. 
Well, let's hope it doesn't get wet. We'll put the gardener bot down there. Again, she's into all these like weird electronics. I'm here for this. Really am. An encryption sequence. Maybe we should give her a lightsaber. <laughs> I would love her to have a lightsaber. Noble peace and justice lightsaber. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, portable galaxy light show. She would be all about that. She really would. Can I put this like up on top of here? I've actually seen these. I want to get one. You know, the like projectors that project out the galaxy onto your like ceiling and stuff. I really want one. Yeah, she would definitely be about that life. She really would. Okay, this is getting her personality in the living area now. I'm kind of here for it. I think there needs to be a picture up there. Um, Maybe of something alien-y again. Oh, that's quite... Where are you? Why won't it let me put that on the wall? <laughs> no idea. Um, Let me find some pictures. Found a few. Found a few more alien-esque pictures. This looks like the attack of something. This little creepy one behind the jukebox here. I'm here for that. Really am. Also gave her a laptop. Forgot to mention this. Just thought she would like a little laptop to do her little whatever on. Whatever she can't do on this. Kind of like that vibe. Um, And I think I'm going to keep that where it is, the sofa. But I do want a plant in here. Just a normal, tall looking plant would be lovely. Really would. What about this? This one? Oh, yes. This can be a one of her cat catnip plants. Her catnip. She does enjoy a little bit of catnip out here. Maybe we should put the bot out there then. Because this is just going to grow herbs, I think. Um, Let me see if I can crack out some herbs here. Uh, Parsley. Two parsley. Thank you. Two basil. Unsure if these are going to grow because it is autumn. Uh, at the minute. Two sage. And any other herbs? Poison fire leaf. Oh. What have we got? Strangerville vibes. Let's go Strangerville, please. Pax. And Strangerville. What's this? A spray. Oh, we'll have one of them. Le little leaf. We can pretend that's a leaf blower or something, you know? Um... A bizarre fruit. Let's... Oh, that it can only have one in there. Okay, well, we'll plant a bizarre fruit in the front. Stunning. And I do want to make this look a little bit more autumn autumnal. So I'm going to try and find a pile of leaves. Plant some leaves. And I put a little rake down there as well. Um, yeah. Well, we've got that sorted. I think I'll start finishing off the detailing to the kitchen. Put a few of these little beaded thingies up. And also some garlic because she's a little bit apprehensive about vampires visiting her lot considering she knows all about them and what they do and what they stand for she's not for it so we're gonna do that okay now i want a little welcome mat here um oh yeah maybe in the form of something quite fun like oh that's very 80s that's very bright though very 80s. I'm getting an 80s vibe from this caravan. That's why I'm saying 80s. Um, mm, I mean, that one goes. That one goes quite nicely. So if I can size that down, put it there. And then what I'm going to do is also put a cat bowl in the corner here for her pet raccoon. Which you will see in the video tour at the end, my love. Um, yeah, she's an absolute beauty. You wait until you see her. She's called Dolly. <laughs> She's called Dolly. And I, I'm i very much looking forward to. Because the video tour is going to be coming up at the end of this. I forgot to even say that. But it is. It's coming. Okay. Right. More kitchen vibes. I don't want to clutter this too much. But I do want some things up on the walls maybe. Uh, kitchen. Maybe a fruit bowl as well. Maybe a fruit bowl. So I threw a few objects around, little um, fruit bowl, a little bit of detergent, put some pots up here. Hopefully she can still use this fridge. I've never had any luck of putting anything on top of the fridge. They're able to use it. And I've also furnished the bathroom as well. I did that off of camera because I just, you know, 
wanted a generic kind of bathroom. Put a few little rubber duckies in here as well. Just a few more details, toothbrush. Um, the kitchen, the, the kitchen, the sink with the kind of like detergent bucket underneath. But yeah, she's got she's got somewhere she can get clean now. Um, so her bedroom. I want her bedroom to kind of, I don't know. Look like she doesn't spend a lot of time in here. I reckon she's always out in the living room. She falls on the so falls asleep on the sofa. Sister, <laughs> she falls asleep on the sofa quite a lot. I reckon, tired from all of her conspiracy hunting. Um, we've only got eleven thousand six hundred left at the minute, so I'm gonna try and keep it in budget. So I'm gonna give her like a used. Where's those like these ones? But the mm, yeah, these. That's the one. Yes. Something that just looks a little bit unused as such. I kind of like that vibe. Um, And I'm going to use these as well in here. The crate. She's all about the crates. I've also propped up the actual caravan itself with some crates. Because I knew that I, w I forgot to do this wheel. And I was like, you know what? We're going to add to that. We're going to add to that storyline and go with it. So I did. Absolute did. Right. So, I want these, but I want them in the darker. Yes. Yes, queen. And the same on this side as well. But we'll turn it the other way, just so it looks a little bit different. Lovely. And we'll push that right into the wall there. And just bring this out some, so she can get back here. Gorgeous. So, she's not really one for clothes. She prefers costumes. She prefers raccoon costumes. And I mean, who doesn't, to be honest, these days? And a nice rug underneath the bed as well. Can we use one of these? Yeah, maybe not in white, though. Can we go for a colour? Oh, the yellow was quite cute. <laughs> of course it was. It's yellow and it's me. Yes. Yes. And again, I think I'm just going to do a simple wardrobe and a chair in here. Not even a mirror. I reckon she's... Doesn't really mind about her appearance. She's not kind of appearance based. So I don't think she's going to have a mirror. But maybe an old, yeah, like this. Yes, that's the vibe. Let me just do a check just in case. No, I think this is definitely the vibe for in here. So I'll put this right into the corner. And then I'll put a little cheeky chair just on the side of it here. Um, and just something that looks quite old and a bit worn. Um, what do you look like? Oh, you do. You do look a bit warm. Oh, there we go. Yes. So she still will be able to get in here. I'm going to move that in just some there. Okay. And I'm going to put up a photo of her husband. I don't know who this husband is going to be or what he's going to look like. It's probably going to be that same portrait I always use. But I reckon she misses him. I reckon she misses him. But and she doesn't realise that he kind of left her for good reasons. He's trying to protect her. I know I've used this picture throughout this whole Let's Build series, including Newcrest, and they all mean different people. But I'm going to do this. Yes. Maybe that. Maybe some can just a candle. A single candle. Lighting. Lighting. Thank you. Just a single candle. Oh, I would love just a single candle like that i really would so maybe we'll have to go down this route oh god look at the snap point to that and i know i can move it but i'm just lazy really am i want it to do the work for me yeah candles there we'll push that right back in as well there we go i'll put him just above there oh and then maybe that flower object from parenthood i think it's from parenthood again what the kids could have made for her this one even though it's got see-through texture on it but we're not going to let that come between us we're really not oh that's cute and then two old lampshades like here um and in fact do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to get rid of this light in here just pretend that that light's broken and she hasn't got it fixed. And I'm going to do two little lamps just on the side of the beds here. Um, Kind of old. Oh, no, these ones because they look a bit 
UFO-ish. Now, I do want them to be old. Um, yeah, oh, like these. Perfect. Um, do you come in any... Oh, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Can I spin you this way? I can. Yes. Yeah, no, that's giving me a vibe. I do need to get a little bed down for the raccoon, but I don't know where I'm going to be able to put it. They won't need a big one. So I'll just use the plain brown one somewhere. Where could we pop this? Maybe I could put this in the bedroom. Uh, maybe not. Oh, where would you go without being too disruptive? Not a lot of places, to be honest. Not a lot of places indeed. Ended up just getting rid of the chair. Got rid of the chair and put the bed there. The raccoon's more important. Dolly is more important than a bloody chair. So she's got, Dolly's got somewhere to sleep now, which is cool. Um, but yeah, this is all kind of done. This lot is done, my loves. I like it. I do. This storyline's going to be really cool to play around with. It will. Cool. Okay. There we are, my darlings. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your faces. Join me tomorrow for the Let's Play Strangerville part. We're going to play around, get a few storylines rolling, um, and just have a bit of fun. Just have a bit of fun. You're going to go off and watch the video tour now. I've put a, together a little mini video tour, just showing a bit of her day and what she's been getting up to. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.